Hello, son of God. This is your awakening. We are in this uh, map of the illusion of the world that is outside of your mind, of the world of illusions, of time dimension, of all the dimensions that never happened. Never happened. It's all an illusion. It's the world outside your mind. It's uh, the separation consciousness, the ego consciousness. Ah, uh, so in this uh, video, we'll talk about uh, the, the unhealed healer, the traps uh, you should avoid, and uh, the source of real healing, the end of death, the end of time, your resurrection, your life, that uh, your resurrection and life has already happened inside you. Salvation, you always choose between salvation and misperception. You always choose between um, uh, truth and illusions. You always choose between eternal and time. So, uh, the solution is already there. God placed the solution where the problem lies. So, your current problem right now is to see the problem. Okay, the solution is inherent in the problem. You can't see the problem yet, but bring, as I bring the light, you're gonna take it and uh, fearlessly, you're gonna sign it to all the dark corners of the ego. So you can realize uh, death, uh, sickness, disease, all, all, all this is just an illusion, meaninglessness. It's nothing. It's nothingness. It has no power over, over you. The Son of God needs no offense against his reality. He needs no offense. So, let's talk about uh, the unhealed healer. For example, a theologian that uh, is an unhealed healer, he's gonna start his teaching his teachings with the premise that uh, i'm a miserable sinner and so are you or a, a psychotherapist will uh, uh, start his own teachings with uh, the equally incredible belief that attack is real for him and for the patient but that doesn't matter at all you you have to to, to understand that the unhealed healer <coughs> tries to give by definition what he doesn't have. He tries to give what he doesn't have. And of course, he, he cannot offer healing. He cannot offer healing. So the theologian will uh, condemn himself, will teach uh, condemnation, and advocate a fearful, a fearful solution. So the God um, um, will seem like a retaliator, will seem like fearful, and uh, he doesn't realize that all, all, all he has done is, the, is following the ego's plan for forgiveness, which of course uh, the ego wants to kill you in time. And as you can see around, uh, this world is uh, imprisoned within the insanity of the ego. Okay, and I'm talking about, not only about those maps here, generally, this illusion, this world of illusion that is, that is outside of your mind. And, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah he, he, he's gonna make gold look like fearful, and he doesn't rea realize that uh, it's just a projection of the ego. He just uh, projected uh, his own death. He just uh, made his own death because he believes in that. And uh, he can't see it because that's the illusion of the ego. That's the illusion of the ego. But uh, when, when, when the ego is uh, perceived uh, 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 through two, two minds and one brings the light, uh, it's very easy to dispel it. No, the ego wants you to, to study, you know nothing of the ego. The ego wants you to study because uh, that's how it creates your death. That's how, that's how it kills you. It wants to be studied because in, in its illusions it kills you. So, uh, remember, you know nothing. Let the Holy Spirit teach you. And uh, uh, in, in, in other words, go, going in the newer forms of uh, Vegas stitching, uh, of course, uh, form doesn't matter because the content is, is the same, only the illusion of form is changing. So the psychotherapist is uh, gonna try, is, is gonna interpret uh, the symbols of the nightmare and uh, uh, he's gonna uh, uh, believe uh, through the symbols that the nightmare is real 
and uh, then he's trying, he, he's gonna try to uh, deprive the power of uh, the mind of the patient. He doesn't. Uh, he's he's actually he's actually teaching uh, death. He's actually teaching deprivation, and in, in the insanity of the ego that he follows, of the ego forgiveness that he follows, uh, he he can also spot right there that uh, the deprivation of the mind powers d deprive the power of the ego as well. So in, in its insanity, the ego deprives itself as well in situations like this. You can perceive easily the madness of uh, uh, of this illusion, of this nothingness, and. Um, uh, they, they can't give healing, they can't give healing because uh, they, they believe healing is of them. They, they can't give healing because uh, they don't know the source of healing. They look in the darkness, they, they, they look in the darkness uh, to, to find an answer to the problem of healing. And the answer, of course, is not there. It's not there. That's the illusion of the ego. The, the ego has a maxim, seek and do not find. The ego wants to kill you in time, only if you obey. Only if you obey the laws of chaos, the laws, the laws of causelessness, uh, the laws of this uh, illusion. Only then the ego can kill you. Whoever obeys it not is either the laws of God and nothing can touch you when uh, you accept your true power, son of God. You, when you remember, when you remember what you are, remember this, and the whole world is fear. They have to die. They have to suffer. Look around you. Follow your heart. They, they all suffer. They all die until until you teach that death is an illusion. Until until uh, you teach that death has no power over you. They they all die until you overcome this world. So remember this, and the whole world is free. So, the unhealed healer is trying to give what he doesn't have. He doesn't realize that healing is not of him. Healing is coming through the Holy Spirit, through the atonement of Christ, that is a device that uh, is placed exactly where it is needed. And uh, the atonement is the principle. The miracle uh, is uh, the meaning. And healing is its effect. Okay, uh, you have to realize, and we are... We are uh, the end of this world. We are the end of time. We are the end of death. And um, uh, uh, you, you have to realize that uh, uh, healing is, is the light is not of you. The, the light is not of you. Okay, but it is for you. And that means it is for the patient as well. So whenever you give healing through the Holy Spirit, through the power of the Holy Spirit inside your mind, uh, you don't only heal the patient, but you also heal yourself. The, this is true healing. When it, it, it gives the maximum to all as time develops, the miracle stays with you. It, it never leaves you. It never leaves you. That's the gifts of God. Infinity, infinity, abundant. Give to have, give all to all. And uh, you, you can't... Uh, uh, you are not the one that heals, so you have to accept your Redeemer, let him do his job because his function is to, to set you free, to offer healing. You are just the means, he is the, the, the source of healing, okay? And uh, all, all the power that engenders miracles is of God, okay? And uh, uh, get out of the way, let him do his job, don't, don't block it. That's where the true healing is coming. That's where you will realize that all those nightmares, all that depression, disease, fear, guilt, sin, it's just an illusion, a causelessness of nothing. But until you experience the miracles, uh, this cult seems real, but, but it's just the, uh, get the light that I bring and it's over, it's over, you know, you just uh, bravely tap into the dark corners of the ego with your light and uh, it's over. It's over. You'll see that it, it rests on nothingness, that fear is an illusion, causelessness. Uh, it's just a disorder in your mind that feeds off your mind. Okay? It depends on uh, you, like a battery feeding it. So you have to realize that um, uh, the miracle worker starts uh, by perceiving light, then uh, 
it continually, it, he continually extends, extends his perception and into sureness uh, and uh, as he acknowledges uh, m more, more and more the light, uh, this perception is coming, is becoming more and more sure and uh, uh, its effects assure him that it is there. Its effects assure him that it is there. So healing is happening through you. A true healer lets healing be. Let's healing be. Okay, and uh, he is sharing the perception with the Holy Spirit. He's the means for the Holy Spirit. And uh, uh, this world needs salvation and you can't teach salvation if you are not saved yourself first. The message and the messenger are one. The message and the messenger are one. You can't teach salvation if you are not yourself saved first. So, a savior must be saved in order to teach salvation. Okay, as long as you believe you, you, you are in this world or in this... Uh, 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 as long as you believe this world is real and this human prison is your real creation, uh, uh, you can offer any kind of healing. You, you, can, you, you literally can offer any kind of healing and any physical device will never stop you from creating death because uh, you, you don't realize that uh, the problem the problem is just, uh, it's not even there and it hasn't, it, 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 you can't solve it because uh, you don't question the problem that is not there, you know. And um, uh, all this madness, all these foolish beliefs are gonna, uh, are gonna be dispelled through your awakening, son of God. They're gonna be dispelled through your awakening. So realize that God goes with you everywhere and uh, um, realize that all healing ha is coming from him realize become aware because god is is everywhere because god is in your mind become uh, aware and see the reality behind the veil through forgiveness you can perceive the miracle that uh, lets you escape from the prison house you thought you made combine all this power and of course uh, uh, follow the guidance of the Holy Spirit, the voice for God, the guidance of your Father, and uh, save this world, which means ending time, ending death, which means healing with the Holy Spirit, which means uh, bringing the reality to the illusion down here, bringing heaven on earth, which means uh, salvation for all, which means healing for all, which means immortality for all, which means the end of death, which means, which means everything you are seeking is in your holy mind. Let that sink deep within you and uh, um, remember what you are, Son of God. Remember the power of your holy mind, your holiness. There is nothing that your holiness cannot do. Your holiness transcends this whole entire whole. Th there is uh, uh, there is nothing that your holiness cannot do because the power of God lies inside, and. Uh, uh, nothing uh, is impossible for God and uh, uh, your holiness transcends time, space, any limitation that is imposed in your mind. It literally overrides all these laws of this world that this world believes and of course uh, uh, they're not even there. The laws of chaos, they're not even laws, uh, it's just illusions and uh, establishes establishes you establishes you as a son of god uh, with uh, a mind with one with the mind of your creator and that is the key that is the source of all healing the the holy spirit so our function here is to heal with the holy spirit let go of all this insanity of course you can uh, if you're afraid to heal with your mind you can use uh, um, any physical device but only 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 as a stepping stone don't get attached to any physical device they are not your creations only as a stepping stone to remember yourself okay only only to remember what you are that's the don't get attached to any of this can't help you
but you can you can use them to just uh, uh, continue your awakening. Okay, that's all. That's all. You have to keep going within complete detachment from the illusion. Okay, and with that being said, remember uh, uh, to share the message of the end of time, and the end of death, of the resurrection, and the life to all the world. Remember that uh, here is the end of your journey. Here is uh, the light. The light has come. And with that being said, peace and glory. Peace, peace.